fellow with Chaparoos. The Big Chaparoo and Safety Dan here. Hey. And today's episode is a special one. The students of Troy High School asked me to come up and assist them in making some longboards. It appears that one teacher in particular has been volunteering his time to stay after and teach these students some woodworking. Some of these students have never even picked up a hammer before. And the best part is, it's not a shop class, but a physics class. Did you say physics class? Um, yeah. I'm not going. Why not? I don't even like sports. No, it's not... Never mind. Hey, do you have the keys to the van? Yeah. You know, you probably shouldn't be driving anyways and drinking. Uh, hi, my name is Trevor Smith. Uh, I'm a physics teacher at Troy High School. We started last year with just a couple students coming in out of my room. They were bringing their longboards to school. They were riding them down the hallways. That wasn't making our campus security people very happy. So I got to talking to them about their longboards, looking at their uh, how they were made, and I was interested in the construction of the decks. So. Um, that we started talking about decks and how they were made and I was like this can be done these can be made and so they did the research they were physics students and that's how I knew them they started coming in with information for me they said they knew where to buy the veneers to make the decks uh, they I sent them out to do research on glues uh, and they did that um, I asked them to uh, find information on how to, to uh, make the molds and they came back with that information so we made a few longboards last year they weren't great but they were good and they were salvageable. The kids could ride them. So we knew this year we needed a um, bigger vacuum pump. And so this year we actually had a lot more interest because students heard we were making longboards. So this year we started with a lot more students. We knew we needed more capacity to uh, make longboards uh, at a faster pace. So we got a bigger pump with larger bags, vacuum bags. I'm Connor Lamb. Hi, I'm Andy Shaw. And uh, so last year some kids made some boards with Mr. Smith and uh, it, they did a lot of stuff just kind of by feel. Everything, it was really disorganized and not very productive. It took them a really long time to get to the point that we're at. And, uh, so this year we asked if we could do the same thing and then um, we would actually have like, a club for it. We tried to get things going earlier. We tried to actually have some organization. Some uh, We had some meetings. Like We tried to set a date where every Thursday everybody come in, work, we work together. We started with just squared off insulation foam. R20, pink stuff you'd find just about anywhere. And we used um, sandpaper and Shinto rasps to form our molds. So there's two there's two axes of curvature that we always that we went with. Concave, which is the short way across the board, which we used a short mold that we made before. And then we also did uh, long ways curvature, rocker. Okay, so what he did was he had uh, the template go all the way down, but um, I didn't want mine as deep, so all I did was uh, I didn't uh, go down as far, so it's a little bit less steep. There's a flat spot in the middle. Yeah, so it's flat in the middle where it doesn't touch.
Yeah. Alright, so I'm Chris and we're here again with my board. Um, we had a little bit of issues with this board. Uh, we took it out of the press and there was some bumps in it. Which, uh, the glue kind of made each ply a little slippery so they kind of rolled up together and made formed these little pockets. So we cut those out and there was a cavity in the board so we filled that with Bondo. But uh, the Bondo didn't look too nice so we put on this uh, nice sheet of veneer, put it back in the press, and now it looks pretty nice. Uh, the bottom, or the, yeah, the bottom of it, didn't look too good though. Um, there was, I tried to put some W concave in it, but it didn't come out too well, so we sanded that out, and again, cut out the cavity, but this time we filled it with some epoxy. And uh, pretty soon we're gonna sand this off, and cover it with some grip tape, and then cut it out. So, looking pretty good. So, I started off thinking about my shape. I made a top mount board. Um, so the trucks are totally underneath it, and it's a directional shape, which means it's not symmetrical. One end is like a nose, and the other end is more of a tail. So hopefully the shape will be cool, and uh, with the amount of rocker that I have in my board, I might actually get a little bit of a tail back here. So I'm happy. The wheelbase of the skateboard is measured from the inside edge of the trucks, so not from axle to axle. So when I say 26, it's only from here to here, and that's a middle of the range wheelbase. A lot of symmetrical drop down boards are longer, they're about, you know, 28, 30. But uh, a 26 is a little bit more nimble, because the narrower you get, the quicker and uh, the quicker the carves are. So, like a regular skateboard is about 15. That's really short. <laughs> that would not do very well going really fast. So, a 26 is a good middle of the range. You can do just about anything and everything. And go fast. This is, this is my preferable wheelbase to go really fast, to race downhill on. And uh, a little bit shorter is fun to free ride on, to slide, to uh, because it's just it's quicker. It's always, it's just more, you can spin around, you can do all sorts of stuff, so. Uh, so at this point, I'm ready to put the wheels on um, to drill the uh, holes in for the wheels. We had these uh, jigs, so basically we just line it up by drawing across, getting the center, and then we use the straight edge, just lined it up, clamped it down, and just drilled it in.
more thing that I gotta do, it's time for me to